Hi guys, this is Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com. So, internet access is crucial for many users and there have been reports that users are getting Windows 10 can't connect to this network message when trying to establish internet connection. This can be a big problem but there are a few ways to fix this issue. Before getting through all the solutions that I'm going to show you in this video, I have to remember you that in the video's description you'll find a full article of many solutions for this issue. I'm going to show you a few of them, but in the article you'll find more. So if this video doesn't help you, doesn't solve the issue, you can always access the link in the description down below and you'll find many more solutions there. The first solution would be to uninstall the network driver. So this can be done very easily, you just have to press Windows plus X, then select device manager, then you have to go to network adapters and on the driver you have to right click, disable, then again right click and uninstall. So what this does, it uninstalls your network driver of course. And after a restart, Windows will automatically find a new driver, a correct driver, and it will install it for you. So the problem should be fixed, but if not, don't close the video. The second solution would be to update your network adapter drivers yourself, not let the Windows do it for you. So this process you can do by using a dedicated software for this. The software is 100% safe and tested by us, by the Windows Report dot com team all the links to every software that I'm gonna mention in this video you'll find in the in the description down below where you'll see the article of this video so you just have to click on start download as you can see down below here your download has started I'm using Google Chrome for this you just have to click on it to open then run the installation process is very very simple as of 99% of the apps that maybe you are using just like next, next and finish is very, very simple. So you click next and then the software will download and then install. After the installation process is ended, you'll see an icon on your desktop. You just open it. So this is how the program looks. It will automatically do a scan for you. It will scan for your drivers and will tell you if you have the most up-to-date drivers or you have out-of-date drivers or maybe you don't have drivers for certain components of your PC. After the scan is complete, you'll maybe get this message which says congratulations, you have zero out-of-date drivers. So I don't have any drivers to update, but if the program will find for you drivers that are out of date or you don't have them, it will show you the list of those uh, drivers and will provide you with the download link for your driver. So another solution would be to disable IPv6 on your computer and modem. So to do that is very, very easy. You just have to access the control panel, press Windows plus Q, type control and then enter. So this is how you very easily access control panel. Then you have to click on network and sharing center. Then you have to find the connections section. So you click on your connection. Then in the window that appears, you have to click on properties. Then in the list that appears, you have to find internet protocol version 6. So you have to uncheck it, then OK. After you've done that, you have to restart your computer, of course. And after the restart, you should try to connect again to your network and see if the problem is solved. But if the problem is not solved, stay here for a few more solutions. Another solution would be to add the connection manually. So it's very easy to do. You just have to access the control panel again. Press Windows plus Q, then write control panel in the box, then press enter or click on control panel. Then you have to click on network and sharing center again. Then you click on set up a new connection or network. So from this box, you have to select what your connection type is. As I have a PC right here, I won't have the possibility to connect to a wireless connection, but you'll have the possibility. The setting will sound like manually connect to a wireless network. So you click on it and you just provide the them with the name, the password and you should be okay. The connection should be done. 
And our final solution from this video would be to disable and then enable your wireless connection. So you do that very easily by pressing Windows plus X, then click on network connections. And here you'll see the connections that you have. You just have to locate your wireless connection, then right click on it, disable. And after it is disabled, you just right click again and enable. So these are the five solutions that I showed you in this video. I have to tell you that in the description down below you have the article that contains many more solutions. So you have to check it out if you want. So this was the video. All things said, I was Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com. Until next time, bye bye.